Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Heidi Adams Fitzpatrick. Let's take a look at what is trending this Monday. Now, more and more of us are using our phones to buy gifts, but there are fake apps posing as stores that could steal money and personal information. And don't think that the app store has your back 100% of the time. Even recognizable brands are getting burned. Security experts have discovered hundreds of apps that are counterfeit between the iOS store for Apple and the Android store for Google. You can protect yourself by checking who published the app and reading reviews and ratings, of course. Well, speaking of online shopping, China's online retail giant Alibaba once again broke its sales record on the shopping day it helped create called Singles Day. Shoppers searched for deeper discounts and lower price tags. Sales on Alibaba's platforms raced to a billion dollars in less than five minutes. Singles Day is a 24-hour event held annually on November 11th and offers some insight into China's swing to online shopping, especially via smartphones. The discount shopping day, also known as 1111, still shifts more goods than the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales days in the United States combined. And finally, could this craze be the new Harlem Shake? The Mannequin Challenge has taken the web by storm. It started in high schools, then made its way to television, rap concerts, politics and professional sports, including the world's eight top ten player, tennis players. So what is this new social media trend all about? Well, you stand still for a minute and then film yourself and then upload. Well, according to Twitter's history, it was kicked off by high school students in Jacksonville, Florida. So what is the point? Just like many other things on social media, there is no point. We do it for the fun of it. And that, of course, is what is trending today. Vincent, it's back to you. You're frozen for a minute.